when it drops, we've got um, the ARP comes back in and the leads do something different. So they come in like this. Yeah, you get just that. Then there's there's these sounds here. That one. And it's just uh, something to go over as it drops. These here is like a question and answer. So this is the question. Da -da 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 so at the end of the phrase, it will give you that one. Couple with that, you've got your percussion that comes back. You've got some other hats that I've made that are just like that. And then later on, this one comes in. You've got a techno shuffle, which I haven't used. You've got a skip, which comes in sort of. There you go. You have a skip, you've got your kick. And I've got this bass line. So this bass line is from Serum. And it's from it's a Frankie Wire patch. So I've I watched basically watched a tutorial on the internet of how to make a print Frankie Wire patch. Um, and they gave away these presets, so I've used one of them and I've tweaked it slightly, detuned it a bit, messed with the filter, and made it do what I wanted to do. Basically, then I've had a kick start to it, which is your side change of pressure. I've added some EQ to take away the bottom end because I'm going to add a sub, and I put a limiter on it so that it keeps it pumping at relatively the same volume. Um, and it's got a gain plug-in to make it mono. And then add a sub with that, doing pretty much the same thing, with the similar amount of limiting, the same sidechain compression, and uh, the EQ, but rolling off everything apart from the bottom end. Gives you a banging sub 